<laughs> Ram gang. In this thing, I say a uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing, I say a uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing, I say a uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing, I say uh. What you doing if you ain't looking for no Aries? We stay turned up. We be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang. We be turned up for them Aries. We gonna get through it. We be talking about them Aries. What's up, gang, gang? What's up, Aries, baby? What's up? What's going down in the life of gang, gang between the 1st and the 15th of November? Hmm. Hmm. Gang. Karmic cycles closing. Y'all, I really had to embody my inner goddess even to do this video. I'm not going to lie. This here is, y'all, y'all ready to graduate? Because I'm ready to graduate. I'm trying to ascend to new heights. Y'all, it's time to win. All that bullshit, y'all. We made it. Win. Win, 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 win. Y'all, we made it. We made it. Look. Look out. This is between. I'm sorry. This is between. This is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Aries between the 1st and the 15th of November. This is not a personal reading. I currently have still a sale on my personal readings until the 1st. Okay. I have a $10 one question, one answer uh, reading for 10 minutes. Okay. Um, ending on the 1st. I have a $15 special, was $15 off of the listed price for my 30, 45, and 60 minute sessions. And I am going to um, update some of my information, okay, uh, so that I can actually start doing emergency readings because I have to get shit shifted around in my life. So bear with me now, we family, okay? Uh, look out, this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Oka. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Um, But I'm going to cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please find one of these beautiful readers, okay, on YouTube that can resonate with you better. And I love you long time. Don't love you no less, my baby. Um, It's just the fact that this is my shit. So I'm going to do that. All right? So to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. Y'all, we a little dysfunctional. We may cry. We don't fuss and fight. We leave that shit on other people channel. But y'all, we may cry, we share, we love, we evolve, we grow, all right? So all that negative, we don't do that. Posi vibes only over here, all right? Y'all, it has been a rough one. Right now, before we even start this reading, do it with me now. Because I feel like y'all like, Mocha, oh my God, where you been? Because I'm like a sponge, and I know y'all are the same way. And even the anxiety behind doing this video. Oh, I felt it. But at the same time, I had to get updated with work and everything as well. So, because my son going to Hallelujah Night, huh, he going to learn something about Hallelujah Night today. Um, <laughs> y'all, why these kids don't know nothing about Hallelujah Night? I mean, y'all, I, I didn't even think Halloween existed, you know, other than Hall Hallelujah Night. Shit, I... I went for the free meal and the candy, the raffles. Hell, I'm grown now. I'm finna get in on the raffle tickets, all right? Lady Luck is here. Y'all Y'all better know how to use that energy. You hear that train all aboard, all right? I, I apologize for the distractions, but I do believe that spirit sends what we need when we need it, all right? So, you guys, I have been really honing additional spiritual abilities, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can say the same. I know there's this feeling of y'all something big is coming. Like, I know I feel it. I just don't know exactly what it is. All right, y'all stay optimistic and stay receptive, y'all. It's just it's ain't nowhere else to go but up from here. All right. Some of the things that we're having to um encounter for November, the first half of November, you guys, is really a battle between us and ourselves, and it's really to release the things that really have been blockages in our lives, fears, abandonment, rejection, you know, we got to let that go because to be honest with you, it blocks the path of us being optimistic in the future. And a lot of us, you know, every opportunity, you don't pretty much, you don't want to go with no woulda, coulda, shouldas. And so 
by releasing these things, you know, manipulation, the shadow self. And during this time, it's about really, really, really kind of being in solitude and truly, truly, truly trusting what it is and getting in tune, Aries, with what it is that you feel. Because it's a very familiar feeling. It has to do with things coming to the surface during this time. Things that we thought we had said fuck it on. Now we didn't quite say fuck it emotionally. This uh, Venus retrograde in Scorpio, as well as that full moon in Taurus, shook some shit up. Okay, so it's time to go ahead and face the monsters in the closet. Let them out. Let them be free. And they, they, they're they more so our internal monsters. Okay? So I actually, I know the other side's going to be like, you didn't do that for us. I didn't really shut up. That's my shit. But I actually had to pull some words of encouragement. And it came from the universe has your back. That for my beautiful Aries by Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay? But what I got for you guys, just to send you all, just a different perspective in looking at things, was happiness is my birthright. So this is why you're having to release that energy. And you notice all of those, you know, moons and something about uh, the crescent moon. But yeah. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Authenticity. What's that thing that make you tick, Aries? Alright, so my meditations have kind of been coming to me a bit differently. It's like I find myself, I leave here and then I have to get a notepad because I find myself literally like writing things down. I don't really realize how much I've written <laughs> till I decide to come back, you know, because it's just so interesting. And with everything that I realized that I had written, I'm not going to cry. Well, everything that I realized I had written down, it's everything that, every place that I've been, hurdles that I've accomplished, and truly, truly, truly things that were my biggest teachers. And um, to be in this place during this energetic time, uplifting other people, and being able to come in one with that harmony within myself, you know, who Aries family. <laughs> I gotta say I'm thankful. Okay, so what I got intuitively for you guys was yes, yeah, a bunch of shit. Yeah, I got a bunch of look here, I got a bunch of shit. Okay, so I'm gonna try and speak briskly, okay? I got blockage lifts, I got protection, I got obsession, I got regret, I got karmic, I got blockage, I got past life, I got karmic debt paid, I got perspective, I got manipulation, I got justice, truth, courage, I got Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, moving, mental conflict, I got ordained, I got spiritual, I got teacher, I got dark magic, I got creator, I got healer. I got acceptance, I got remorse, I got new love, anxiety, journey, fear, rejection, choices, focus, indecision, toxicity, lesson, self-sabotage, expansion, growth, miracles, abundance, Aries, freedom, twin soul, Sagittarius, Virgo, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, stability, releasing, crown, clarity, veil, perspective, psychic, healing, windfall, harmony, grateful, lessons, forgiveness, balance, Intention, children, compromise, apology, heightened awareness, intuition, instinct, royalty, pride, internal warfare, strategic, practical, reflection, vibration. Y'all hear me tearing up because as 
I've literally meditated on that yet again before delivering this message, y'all. I couldn't do nothing but a little dance. <laughs> y'all, <laughs> you could have never told me I would be in this place teaching, being a healer and guiding people through the things in my life that broke me, but they built me the most. Y'all, I'm so thankful. Get out your head and be thankful. It's the time to be thankful. Oh my God. Thankfulness. Grateful. Remember that and always know going forward, you are royalty. I remember praying to God, asking God, why is my life so heavy? Why is this so fucked up? Now, hold to resonate with all of my family, you guys. Who have went through every tower moment, every build up, every download, every push through, every everything with me. To give you this. And know, just know what you feel that big, that big thing you know is the greatest you you ever seen in your lifetime. You guys. The only person that can stop you is you. Watch your thoughts. We manifesting at a very fast rate. With the full moon in Taurus, it came in our second house. It's about reevaluating our finances and stability. Investments and practicality. You know, for those of us who own businesses or for those of you who are uh, wanting to invest or possibly speak out or reach out to like some type of financial advisor or banker. It's about planning and structuring, reevaluating our family structure, and not just sitting and thinking about it and thinking about it and keep putting the idea back behind us to try to tackle 10 things at once, but blockage is going to be lifted so that we can have that peace to tackle these things. Get out of your heads, my babies. We gonna be all right. <laughs> The first message comes from, I know you're all crying, like, oh my God, my girl, you're going to have me crying. I know, it's all right, because I am transparent. I don't hide nothing from y'all. I, I, I really, really don't. I mean, I held on to people doubting me. I held on to needing to be accepted by people. And it wasn't that I was at my greatest self even around people. It's like the Spirit gave me something beautiful. <laughs> when you can overcome by using your pain and turning it into your power there is no one greater than thee i'm so proud of y'all it's uncomfortable i know but you've been here before and instead of being in a sad place here i'm not crying because i'm hurting i'm crying because i'm happy y'all don't know you know you do know the hell I'm crying because I'm happy and I'm in a place that I can forgive. I'm in a place where I can share. I'm in a place where I am accepted and I accept you. Y'all, thank you. If I never told you, thank you. Oh, holy creator, family, because without you, this growth is not possible. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate every piece of all of y'all. Every heart I touch and you're allowing me to touch it. Thank you. The message that comes from my babies is as right. Deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. I know that's damn right. Take care of your motherfucking self, okay? This is a positive card, showing that you're ready to process and move on from the painful experiences and trauma. This means that you're open to receiving healing energy and insights about your experiences. 
You're guided to devote time and your personal healing work. This may involve appointments with a therapist or healer or spending extra time in prayer or meditation or on self-care practices. Detoxification from chemicals and processed foods and also negative influences. They're coming up very strongly for you right now. People, places, and things that are negative and it's about you truly, truly trusting what you feel because, again, we've been here before. Maybe in the last time that you were in this place, in this very familiar place, because it's about the soul's evolution. It's about hurdling those karmic lessons, okay? So that you can, for some of you all, I just keep hearing, I just want to get it right this life. I just want to get it right this life. Some of you all, you're really needing to watch your thoughts. Spirit is trying to give you all a perspective shift and give you all enlightenment. For some of you all, during this time, it will be during your dreams, okay? But I see you're coming out of this dark place. You'll be coming out of this dark place in the way that you look at things, your negative thoughts, okay? You're going to be shifting them into positive thoughts, okay? You're going to begin to see the beauty in situations and how where you've been created the success that you have, have you had, that you had to move forward and recreate. And it's crazy because you're learning now and seeing the beauty that you brought into your own life by recreating, by standing in your authenticity, because you can actually see the fruits of your labor, see the things around you that are beautiful. You're looking at things from a whole new place. You need to really watch your thoughts and don't let, don't not allow your thoughts to um, really keep you in a negative place. Okay. For some of you all, I feel as if you're very internally conflicted during this time, Aries. I feel like it's truly, truly, truly what your passions, what your passions lie. It's really, you needing to ask yourself, Aries, I understand that I want fairness for everybody, but what is it that I truly want? Because for, for, for a lot of you all, it's like, I'm tired of carrying this heavy ass weight around. I'm tired of carrying these, carrying these burdens. I'm tired of feeling as if I give, give, give to situations and I'm left feeling empty. And it's about reflecting from a different perspective and really, really, really asking spirit allow it to allow you and help you to heal. A lot of you all will be very, very, very close to Archangel Michael during this time. Because some of you all, once you actually heal your thoughts and heal that internal conflict, some of you all are on the brink of a new beginning. For those of you all who've been working on yourself, who've been sowing positive seeds, who've been actually building and actually spreading love actually really nurturing yourself and really, really in reflective mode of where I've been and, and understanding that I had to go through that because I don't want to live my life fucking mediocre. So for some of you all, you're coming through a rough time. So in November, you're going to actually see the fruits of your labor. That in which you were trying to birth, you're literally going to see something beautiful be materialized to the surface. Be manifested. Some of you are, you're really needing to balance your emotion. Use your emotion and really trust what you feel during this time. Some of y'all, y'all, oh, y'all, sh shit, y'all crown chakra. Some of you all may feel um, like a tingling at the top of the head. I know I've went through that myself, but there's a tingling at the top of the head. Some of you all may feel, uh, may receive like pressure headaches. They're needing you to get out in nature. Some of you all really, really, really need to go by water. There are water goddesses trying to um, send you healing energy during this time. I know it's getting cooler outside and it's straight up cold in some places, but if you can't get out to water, you're really, really, really needing to allow yourself to make that time for yourself and truly, truly, truly gather your emotions. When you feel a certain way or someone comes in and strikes a particular vibration with that, don't hold on to that vibration. What you're needing to do during this time is assess that vibration. Assess that feeling. Pause. Why the hell do I feel like this? Does it agree with what makes sense? Does what makes sense benefit my growth, me expanding, or building on to Aries. Because if not, I can't become emotionally attached to it. I've done too much work on myself to build this new mindset, to build 
this new because for some of you all some of you all may be business owners and maybe you're a little frustrated because you really want to see your business grow some of you all there's this internal harmony during this time you reap what you sow for some of you all you may be having prophetic dreams possibly about your twin flame or your um, twin flames karmic partner for some of you all there's a soulmate coming in your energy and they they truly just want harmony with you Aries but I feel like this internal conflict within itself needs to harmonize within you first some of you all the love you, you're really coming into harmony with the fact that the love that you know you expected from people you have to go through this period of solitude in order to give that to yourself some of you all are really, really, really going to be embracing goddess energy during this time. Look here, because I embody it well and swell, baby. All right. So just really be receiving Aries during this time. Okay. Um, a lot of y'all, y'all third eye going to be pouring out information. For those of you who are waiting on um, maybe somebody to come in to express your love, Spirit is really wanting you to. Really, 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 tr again, trust what you feel. This is about <sighs> discerning your energy from another. Some of you all are questioning, you know, the love. Maybe if you marry, you're questioning your partner's love during this time. Based on things that could have happened in the past or things that could have been revealed to you or could be revealed to you during the month of um, November. And I feel like this is more of a spirit revelation. Some of you all may get a major download for those of you who live near water. A massive download. Um, could be something around something that you didn't. It's going to allow you to see something or a situation or a person differently. It's going to allow you to truly, truly, truly look within and really understand why it was that you attracted these type of vibrations in the past. For some of you all. Your, again, your crown chakra during this time is going to be popping. It's like Aries. You're walking into this what seems like an all-knowing. Some of you all are really, really, really needing to get in tune with your spiritual abilities. You're needing to be either outside in nature near trees. A lot of you all may be sitting under a tree and receive a massive download during this time. With all of this color purple that I'm seeing, some of you all are going to be drawn to amethyst. For, uh, for the new intuitives during this time, baby, you may need to meditate. Um, and I feel like if you, if for those of you who are going through a period of like anxiety during this time, a lot of you all are going, a lot of you alls, a lot of you all are going to be, um, there's a need to meditate with amethyst. Amethyst is going to bring you not only a relief, but some form of calm. Some of you all are really needing to, um, put lavender oil in your bath water. Really spirit. Lavender oil in your bath water with sea salt. That's for those of you who can't get to that water. A mass enlightening, a mass enlightening is going to be coming over the sign of Aries during this time. Some of you all don't see how things are actually have been aligning for you and why you had to go through these things and why has, why it has been so long before um, or so long that you had to wait possibly on a divine partnership or a soul a soulmate partnership to become a line. I feel like Aries, you kinda in your head about a situation or a person returning during this time. And I feel like you're really needing to meditate and align your chakras because I feel like for some of you all, you're really losing your shit. Needing to get out in nature or near a mass body of water. You're needing to ask spirit to assist you in moving to a place of harmony. Because for some of you all, you I told you we manifesting at a fast rate. You're manifesting your own outcomes. Or well, this could be someone in your energy areas during this time. Some of y'all could be dealing with um yeah, some of you guys are definitely on the brink of a new beginning. Internally and externally. Some of you all may be seeing um <laughs> a lot of butterflies during this time some of you all may have some type of encounter with the dragonfly and they land on you let's look at what a dragonfly means 
I know there's spiritual messages. Some of you all are reconciling your family. And some of you all, the energy that's trying to come into your life, Aries, is love. True love. Some of you all could also be hearing possibly from a Gemini during this time. But yeah, definitely. Some of you all are definitely having these ruminating thoughts. Some of y'all could be dealing with Capricorn as well. But I feel like, Aries, you're internally finding yourself because your end goal, you really want to victoriously move forward. You're going to be able to. Some of you all are moving away from um, possibly a toxic fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. I feel like this person is coming towards you to communicate love. They may want to heal a situation. I feel like you mutually both want to heal a situation, Aries. This person is coming in and expressing their love. They want harmony with you. But there is still this form of like toxic ass energy around them, okay? And yeah, some of y'all could be dealing with Capricorn or Gemini. Some of you all, after receiving a communication, and I feel like you're not going to see it coming, is right when you get to this space of internal harmony and really, really, really planning out what it is that you want to do. Then, bam, true love comes in. And you're like, damn, I didn't even know this is what I wanted. But spirit is not allowing us to take that emotional baggage and that hurt forward anymore because it don't assist us in being great. Some of you all could possibly be healing. Um, you know, some of you all may have a fire child, a fire child, a fire sign child. I feel like in the past you guys could have had um, a toxic relationship with one another, and it could be due to like some type of mother don't like the daughter in law situation, vice versa. I feel like you've been separated from your child. They're wanting to move forward and communicate will come in and communicate in order to move forward to bring their harmony back because I feel like a lot of you all have been carrying that guilt why didn't I compromise why didn't I you know why didn't I work with them and I feel like this person was just reckless that why the hell you couldn't work with me you come from a space of not taking disrespect from nobody I don't give it I'm not going to sacrifice my feelings my respect to keep you in my damn life it's not happening. And at the end of the day, Aries, when these people come back, you will have you've been and gained a new perspective where you can truly, truly look at it. Like I set up and I held that shit. But I held it and I was in this period of building. And not only did I build, but I began to see success around the things that I build when I learned to come into one with my emotions and use my intellect in order to move forward with a new perspective, a way that I wasn't able to see it before that, that provides harmony within myself so that I can be receiving to all of the love and vibrations that the universe is trying to bring to me. Spirit. Let's just see if the first and the 15th, November and love. Yeah, some of you all, you may have another Aries or Virgo, Taurus. Wanting to come in, this could also be the mother or father of your children. I feel like they're wanting to come in, they're wanting to grow. I feel like this person could actually be internally conflicted about coming towards you, Aries. I feel like this person could be on the outskirts just watching you grow. And I feel like whoever this is, they had to learn that what you reap is what you sow. I keep hearing what you reap is what you sow. For some of you all, I feel like this is what you in the past could have been trying to manifest but I feel like some of you all just chose to heal yourself and free yourself from this connection in the past but going forward this person wants to come in and you know shift things I feel like a lot of you all are going to be internally conflicted about it so I'm like mm, I don't know so yeah this could be Aries Leo Sag Cancer Pisces Scorpio for some of you all it could also be um, the mother of your children this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel Aries that this person wants to come in. They want to offer you something solid now. But the fact that I feel like some of y'all I'm literally hearing, it's too late to apologize. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. I mean, I forgive you. I do accept your apology. 
Some of you all are actually going to reconcile, especially if it's a family situation. But like some of you all are actually going to take that leap of faith, Aries. Some of you all are going to uh, receive something financial from this person. I feel like this person got accountability issues. And I feel like this person knows that they really, really, really hurt you in the past. They on the outskirts looking in really could be very overburdened during this time. So this is like guilt is what has this person, this heavy conscious what has this person moving forward and trying to offer you something. Some of y'all, they don't really know how to love Aries and that could be what they're going to be expressing to you when they come back. For some of you all, you've been really, really, really in your head about this shit. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I feel some of you all, y'all, you're very empathic. It's like your intuition is booming. For some of you all, the only thing that you can hold on from this person, hold on to, is hurt. Some of you all are going to be able to get the monkeys off your back. A lot of you all are going to be dropping the burdens during this time. Some of you all, if you're burdening, if you're overburdened uh, due to finances, I feel like you haven't been able to sleep. Am I going to be okay? Am I going to be okay? But some of y'all just have to do a past life karma, not being able to receive or accept love receive give love because you're feeling overburdened you're feeling like everything i have to do everything i have to do this i have the spirit is trying to send you help and help make a lover this could be somebody who's very intuitive could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio but some of you all are definitely needing to make a decision for some of you all you have to choose from two past life partners uh one of them could be a gemini the other could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, you're really just going to be setting clear boundaries during this time. Just because you're a past life partner to somebody does not mean that you have, you have a free will fucking choice to make the decision. Some of you all are going to be, that's going to be another interesting thing about those dreams that I actually saw about. Some of you all will kind of be moving, you'll kind of be dreaming a lot more about your past lives. For some of you all, I see this happening more so to new intuitives. You're really needing to meditate and ground yourself, ground your thoughts. Some of y'all are, are, are literally manifesting this damn clarity, and when they come, it's get the hell out of you. Your ass can't go to sleep. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay? Understand that your heart, what you feel, will never deceive you unless you choose to overlook it. Some of you all could be cutting off a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be someone who you dealt with in the past. I feel like this person leaves you feeling emotionally conflicted. I feel like this is someone who comes to like cause confusion. Some of you all, this person, you are this person could actually be setting boundaries, speaking your truth. Look here. I'm good whether you're here. I'm good whether you're gone. But some of you all, it's time to make a judgment. What do you want, Aries? Now, some of you all, you have a past life soulmate coming back. And I feel like in the past, it wasn't an equal level of give and take. I feel, Aries, you were trying to make something grow. Some of you all, there could be an earth sign in your energy. Um, you could be setting your boundaries with this person. Look, I want all or nothing. Leave me the fuck alone if you can't give me the package. Okay? Yeah, some of you all have been manifesting a soulmate relationship with an Aries. Here it come. Here it come. I feel like things were having to be aligned just as you were clearing your karma, just as you were moving through, you know, <laughs> conquering the hurdles of love and war. So is this person. Yeah. Some of you all, some of you all got an air sign that wants to come back. That could be who I also seen here. I feel like in the past, you could have cut this person off due to there not being a level of give and take. But this person is wanting to come back. I feel like this person was very indecisive in the past. They know what the hell they wanted. But sometimes you don't appreciate what you got until it's gone. This person is going to want to, yeah. But some of you are this person coming back. And they actually have two options. Some of y'all have a fire sign coming back. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have cut this person off in the past. But some of you all, you're making a judge. Some of y'all going to receive truth and clarity, possibly about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly given to you and another um, and someone else. And this could be new information to you because you just like, 
what the hell? And I feel like this is somebody who you could have possibly been dealing with for the last four years, four months, four weeks. Some of y'all going to have to make a judgment call because I feel like that's also tied to your past life karma as far as acceptance and allowing. I accept the fact that you were cheating ass, lying ass, son of a gun. But I'm not going to allow that shit in my life because I've come too far. And again, whether you go or you stay, I'm good, baby. Some of you all have to choose between the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a fire sign. Or this could be the person external in your energy. Some of you all are going to be going to court during this time. I see y'all support. Some of y'all could be receiving some communication, um, possibly regarding um, the mother or the father of your children. Child support. Yeah. And for some of you all, this person could actually be coming forward to reconcile, okay, to keep from paying child support. That's dirty. Y'all don't fall for the okie doke. Oh, oh, I'll keep them two. Yeah, some of you all, some of you all, someone wants to come in and rebuild with you. This could be another Aries like yourself. I feel like in the past, this person really didn't know how. They couldn't see your substance, baby. And now this person, after after many heartbreaks, okay, and karma whooping that ass, now they see. Aries, you're my other cup. God damn. <laughs> Some of you all actually could have possibly have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, wanted to come in and express their love. Maybe this person was very distant and indecisive in the past. But some of you are you wanting to express your love or you may uh you may be receiving an expression of love from a cancer. Okay. I feel like in the past, y'all, some of y'all have to separate from somebody due to stability. This person is coming back. Things are balancing out. There's this sense of harmony financially, mentally, spiritually. You're gonna be in a very peaceful place in the month of November. It's like can't nothing come and shake my world. Because this is the world I recreated. Some of you all, some of you all have possibly been waiting on the Sagittarius to come and deliver you some form of truth. Some of you all are possibly going to receive an apology, possibly from the Sagittarius during this time. And I feel like it's going to assist you in making a judgment call. Do I go? Do I stay? For some of you all, it's a Pisces. Some of y'all got to choose between two people. Someone who you have a, a child with and possibly a soulmate. I feel like two, both of these people come from your past life. Some of you all, it's a twin and a karmic soulmate. But some of you all, this could be someone who possibly left you feeling rejected in the past. This could be someone who actually surfaced those inner abandonment issues, rejection issues, areas that we really needed to sort out. But some of you all, you may be having conversations with your father during this time, actually just delivering your truth. And getting it off your chest so that you can move forward and be your best self. This is why you come into realization. But I feel like some of you all, this person, whoever this is that you're communicating with, Aries, they want to balance things. They want to build things. This could have been someone who you could have been in a third party situation with in the past. If this could be the mother or the father of your children. I feel like they could have walked away from you, Aries, for five years, five months, five weeks with no communication. I feel like this person is more centered. They're ready, they're ready to come in and talk. Some of you have to really choose. Because for some of you all, this is happening in the, at the brink of your life when only thing you see is successful times. You can literally see love right in front of you. Your heart is open. Some of you all will be moving towards um, really seeing financial and blessings in a major way. To those of you who are business owners or thinking about starting your own business please move forward jump off the cliff baby what are you waiting on get out your head get your ass up on your feet yeah some of you all are possibly going to you know, some of you all are going to be receiving during the month of november truth and clarity it could possibly be, be from an earth sign I say earth air sign gemini libra queers but matter the sign some of you could possibly be receiving um some truth and clarity could be from a Pisces, Scorpio, 
or just someone just that was deceptive in the past. Whatever truth was being hid from you, Aries, is going to be illuminated during this time. Ain't no more veil. The veil is no longer thin. It's no longer there. You're going to see people, places, and things for who they are, what they are, what they add to your life, and how, and really on the cool, really come to a calm, accepting place of the fact that I don't need this shit. I already won. Yeah. For some of you, this could definitely be the mother or father of your children. But for some of you all, if you choose to forgive and express love, Aries, I feel like this person, they have to go through self-sabotage and really, really, really allowing life to beat their ass when you thought you were really just trying to get... I feel like the two of you were going through the same thing at the same damn time. And now this person has been enlightened and, and has come to that conclusion. Oh, it's you. It's you. For some of you all who've been waiting on your twin flames to move forward and come forward and express how they feel, here they ask come. For some of y'all, you're definitely a Gemini. But there's definitely going to be a period of harmony. You're going to be able to victoriously move forward, Aries, and have harmony within your situations externally as well as internally within yourself. Some of you all could possibly be receiving massive windfalls or if you're waiting on a huge financial payout or some type of like court decision or payout. Some of y'all actually may get some like unexpected money, I see. Some of you all actually may, um, if you're looking for a job and you hadn't received that job offer, I'm hearing don't settle, but you actually may have two job opportunities to choose from. And I'm hearing really choose what sits well in your heart. Choose what it is that you love to do. What you what what it is with, that you would like to do without waking up and feeling like fuck. I hate this damn job. It's about being authentic to yourself, even if other people be like, "Really? That's what you do? <laughs> really? <laughs> Don't ask me for that motherfucker twenty dollars before you get paid. All right, noted. All right, you ain't going on the twenty dollars. In fact, I'm gonna put your name with a star for that stank ass face you made about it. But yeah, some of you are new shmoney. New love, possibly in the form of a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Just forget the signs, y'all. But you're definitely in this cycle to go into a new cycle of your life, baby. Ain't nowhere else to go from here but up. It's time to win, but it's ultimately your choice. If you choose to forgive this person from the past and be optimistic, for some of you all, especially if this is a fire sign, pretty much any sign is here. But if this is the father or mother of your child and you wait, you've been waiting on this person to come back to you and give you some form of the truth or explanation on why they could have ghosted you in the past, here they come. But it's up to you because for some of y'all, you have nothing but newness coming into your life. So you're looking at this situation like, I mean, I'm in love. But do I really want to go back and resurface this shit because I see so much beauty before me. I have a soulmate. Okay? I am a creator. I create things. I'm a builder. I'm a nurturer. But some of you all, you may find out that you're pregnant. Especially if this person could have ghosted you in the past and then you find out you're pregnant. You've been trying to get in touch with this person. This person didn't answer no phones. Answer the call, Aries, because here they come. But you're definitely ending cycles to go into new ones. And you're having to release that lack mindset or release what it is that you felt like you needed to control. Release that control and just allow God to do God's job, baby. And understand that what it is that you need, what it is that you're desiring for some of you all it is reconciling okay with someone who you have a family with i'm seeing just so much harmony around families i see men and women like opening doors and like kids happy <laughs> some of you all you've been feeling stuck you're not stuck you're in reflection mode you're planning and that stuck have had you missing opportunities but for some of you all, it's just a mindset. 
You only stuck if you tell yourself that you stuck. You manifest that you stuck and you claim that you stuck. So be it. But y'all, it's time to win. You ready or not? <laughs> I pray this resonates. You guys, if you need a personal reading, hit me up. I love y'all. I got to get these other damn fire signs up too. You know, y'all, you fire signs. You know, we feisty. But you know what? I bite your ass. Bye, y'all. Much love, much light. <laughs> Namaste. Mm -hmm.